All right, hey guys, here we are. Setting up for hole number six here. Just kind of resetting back to normal. We're gonna probably go basic ball here. So what I'm probably looking at on this hole is going over to the left-hand side until you can get some reasonable curl um, or, or a big topper or something. You can probably big topper it over here. If you guys didn't see my pro guide, you might want to check that out because I did a big, big topper three and it worked out, which means that you know a lot of you guys could probably emulate that shot a little bit with just a little bit different wind direction. So if you could kind of use that technique, probably be a good one. They're very fortunate to just hold the fairway. The rough there might have been, you know, a little bit catastrophic. So one of the things that you can do is you can kind of just not play into the bunker and just kind of lay it up short. So that's more or less what I'm doing. Maybe about three rings for my play. And what this will do is it, you know, it'll... It'll make it to where you don't have to challenge, and we can just set ourselves up for a long iron, basically. <clears throat> so here you're going to stay out of short iron range, um, which is going to make, you know, the, the, the second shot isn't the easiest. It's a little bit tricky. Again, another opponent that's going to be very tricky for me to beat. And you can see two or three backspin, kind of the result. So what I'd like to do is kind of emulate it, but just get just a little bit more aggressive if I can. Somewhere right around here. And 64 accuracy right around just a here inside two rings or so. And just, just missed. So gave it a good run. Um, that's the technique that I would pretty much recommend is just, you know, don't get too aggressive off the tee. Just kind of do what do what's necessary. Put the ball in play and give yourself a very good, reasonable chance to be able to win the hole. And I almost got the eagle that way, even with the limited ball guide. So it does show you that it's very straightforward, um, very good opportunity there for you guys to take advantage of. Otherwise, now we're going to have to go to the shootout. It's going to make things just a little bit tougher. It's tough to win this one. We're probably going to stick to our shot that we've been doing. Um, you know, kind of as I mentioned, you know, you can land into this fair, uh, into this face, and pull this off. It's very risky though, um, especially it looks like my opponent's short hitting this a bit. So I have to be very careful to make sure that it doesn't hit too much into the face. And sure enough, that's what it did. Check. Phew. So I don't even think I can get inside that. So that almost worked out perfect. I don't even think I can get the ball that close. So with that being said, you know, it's looking like an instant loss for me. Um, unless I was to actually go for that risky shot as well. Because I don't know if I can get the backbone to run out that far. And I'm going to have to get just a little bit more aggressive than I've been getting. So I'm going to have to challenge that bunker just a tiny bit more. And 
and not aggressive enough. So you'll see I'm out here towards the left and end up losing this match. It's very risky going for that face shot. I didn't want to risk it. You can see it was basically the difference between my opponent short hit that. Okay, and if it didn't, if he didn't short hit it, it would have been nowhere near where he just hit it. So it's a game of that many inches as to how that that worked out. That fortunate for him is just by, you know, the difference between him putting it in the center of the circle and putting it where he did in the circle. And there's no way of knowing that it was exactly going to play out like that. It's very tough to replicate that. In fact, you've even seen two shootouts so far. You know, one, the opponent shot way over the green. The other went into the bunker. So it's a very risky shot. Um, you know, and pulling it off, it was almost essentially impossible to beat. So good luck there, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.